Hey everybody, this is Ramon Del Magnifico and welcome to this week's episode of the famous Pipe Smoker Friday show and today is episode 10, Woo made it to 10 episodes, weekly series and I guess I've been doing this for 10 weeks now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, before I continue let me just remind you to please subscribe to this channel uh, so that you're up to date with my programming, uh, my movie reviews, my pipe smoking videos. Uh, more episodes of the famous Spy Smoker Friday show and um, if you like the video hit the like button so, uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and let's get on with it shall we all right today we'll be talking about James Richard Gammon who was an American actor known for playing grizzled good old boy types in numerous films and television series Gammon is ben no, best known as Lou Brown, the manager in the movie Major League and its sequel Major League Two, uh, movies which portrayed a fictitious version of the Cleveland, Cleveland Indians. That's probably where you know him from. Uh, Gammon was born in New, Newman, Illinois, the son of Doris uh, Latimer, a farm girl and Donald Gammon, a musician. After his parents divorced and he bounced around from home to home, he made his way to Orlando, Florida. A rugged looking James Gammon first broke into the entertainment industry, not as an actor, but as a TV camera person. He worked at Orlando's ABC TV affiliate WL. OF TV Channel 9 as a cameraman and director. In his 20s, he packed up and moved to Hollywood to try to find work. There, his weather beaten features, somewhat menacing attitude, and a tough as nails voice, the kind that used to be described in detective novels as whiskey soaked. Speaking of whiskey, clinky clinky. Uh, whiskey soap reminiscing of the 40s noir icon Charles McGraw uh, got him work in front of the cameras in TV westerns. Though he sounds as if he's from Texas or Oklahoma, as I mentioned before, he was born and raised in Illinois. And he made his film debut in 1967. Not the kind of guy you'd see in a tuxedo in a in a Noel Coward drawing room comedy, unless he was one of the one of a gang holding the map. <laughs> uh, his early television credits include appearing twice as Deputy Virgil Bramley. In the NBC Western The Road West in the nineteen in the nineteen sixty six nineteen sixty seven season, which co-star Barry Sullivan, Andrew Pine, and Glenn Colbert. In the nineteen seventies, he helped found. Yeah, he helped found the Met Theater in Los Angeles, while performing there. A rep from the public 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 theater saw him and had and had him cast as Weston in Sam Shepard's Curse of the Starving Class in 1978. The two became friends afterwards, and he made his sole Broadway appearance as Dutch in a revival of Sam Shepard's Buried Child. He was nominated for a Tony Award for his performance. He also appeared on stage as Shepard San Francisco debut of the late Henry Moss along with Nick Nolte, Sean Penn, Chich Marin, and Woody Harrelson in the, 2000, in the year 2000. Some of his film credits include Cool Hand Luke, uh, which came out in 1967, Urban Cowboy, which came out in 1980, 
Phil Verado, which came out in 1985. Noon Wine. Noon Wine. Yes, that's right. W-I-N-E. Noon Wine. Which came out in 1985. The Milagro Beanfield War, which came out in 1988. Uh, of course, the, the, four, the, the one that he's most famous for, Major League in 89, The Adventures of Huck Finn, which came out in 1993, Wyatt, Wyatt Earp, uh, that came out in 1994, Wild Bill, which came out in 95, you guys see a trend here? <laughs> Cold Mountain, which came out in 2003, and more recently, Appaloosa in, in 2008. He also had an uncredited role in Natural Born Killers in 1994. Gammon portrayed a Korean War veteran on the uh, hit ABC series Grey's Anatomy. He played Charles Goodnight in Streets of Laredo. In 2006, he played the stern grandfather, Sam, brother of notorious outlaw Butch Cassidy in the film Outlaw Trail, The Treasure of Butch Cassidy. Gammon also played a supported role in Appaloosa 2008. Gammon provided the... I already mentioned Appaloosa, didn't I? Oops. Gammon provided the voice, and this one... It's really cool to me. Uh, Gammon provided the voice of the animated characters Mary, sorry, Marv, <laughs> Marv Loach, and Floyd Turbo in the 1999 Warner Brothers animated feature film The Iron Giant. Man, I love that movie. Gammon could play uh, lighted parts also as evidenced by his work as the manager in the baseball, baseball comedy Major League, which I've mentioned three times now. But that is the film that he is best known for. Um, uh, and he was also, uh, he's also known for lighter roles because of his regular role as Don Johnson's, Don Johnson's rambunctious father, <laughs> in the television show Nash Bridges. Uh, he unfortunately, Gammon, he unfortunately passed away of adrenal gland and liver cancer in Costa Mesa, California on July 16th, 2010. And that's all I got about this famous pipe smoker. He did a lot of westerns and uh, his pipe smoking uh, comes mostly from his films. Uh, so yeah, that's it. My thanks again to IMDb and this time Wikipedia for the bio. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got. Um, so, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel and uh, ring that little bell so that you get notifications of when my, my videos go up. Um, my movie reviews, uh, which will go, go up weekly. Uh, episodes of the famous pipe smoker friday show which go up on fridays um usually a cab tuesday or a sunday chat for the youtube pipe community uh so yeah that's it oh um also please check out the video i did on tuesday this past tuesday where i talk about um, a friend of mine um faith who is uh writing and uh trying to self-publish a children's fairy tale book uh, about a girl and it promotes uh, a young girl and it promotes body positivity i will uh put the link to her kickstarter campaign um in the description of this video as well but check check out the video where i talk a little bit more and and, and you get to see her beautiful face because i put pictures of her um, on there uh so yeah until next time this is ramon el magnifico saying thank you so much for watching please follow me on twitter and instagram at the El Magnifico, and until the next episode, may God bless you all. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Ciao.